The NFL has become increasingly more of a passing league, and there are a handful of guys you can thank for that. These players spun it better than anyone else in their respective eras, and as a result, convinced teams to throw the ball more over the years. Here are the greatest NFL quarterbacks of each decade, with some seriously worthy honorable mentions. 1940s Sammy Baugh The NFL was formed in 1920, but the quarterback position we know today didn't really come to fruition until the 40s. Back then, teams viewed passing as being too risky and not worth it, so they just ran the ball over and over again. That is, until Sammy Baugh came along. Sammy, after starting out as a halfback, showed the league the pros of throwing the ball and is credited as being a pioneer of the position. He was even given the nickname Slingin' Sammy. He led the NFL in completion percentage eight different seasons that decade, led in passing yards three seasons, and was a three-time first-team All-Pro and three-time second-team All-Pro. He finished his career with 21,886 passing yards and 187 touchdowns, which was incredible production for the time. 1950s Otto Graham While Graham retired in 1955, just over halfway into the decade, he still takes the crown for the 50s. Thanks to him, the Browns won three NFL championships in a six-year span beginning in 1950. Yeah, you heard that right. The Browns won three NFL championships. And those three seasons that didn't end in a title? Graham still had his team in the championship game each time. He won three league MVPs and was a four-time first-team All-Pro in just a five-year stretch. Over his 10-year career, he accumulated 23,584 passing yards, 174 passing touchdowns, and a career record of 105, 17, and 10. 1960s Johnny Unitas A ninth-round draft pick in 1955, Unitas was cut before even throwing a pass in an NFL game. He started playing semi-pro football for $6 a game. So, Unitas' career was a true rags-to-riches story. He won two league MVPs in the 60s and also led his Baltimore Colts to an NFL championship win in 1968. Johnny Yu was also a seven-time Pro Bowler that decade. His record of throwing at least one touchdown in 47 consecutive games stood for more than 50 years. People considered him to be the prototype for the modern-era marquee quarterback. Unitas finished his career with 40,239 passing yards and 290 passing touchdowns, which were both records at the time. 1960s Honorable Mention Bart Starr All Starr did was win in the 60s, leading the Packers to five NFL championships before winning the first two ever Super Bowls. He was even named Super Bowl MVP in both games. Bart led the league in passer rating five different seasons throughout the 60s as well. 1970s Roger Staubach Staubach was so dominant at the quarterback position that the Cowboys became known as America's team this decade. He snagged two Super Bowl rings and a Super Bowl MVP in the process, along with being named to six Pro Bowls as he led the league in passer rating four separate seasons. When Staubach retired in 1980, he finished with the highest career passing rating in NFL history at the time. In addition to his impressive passer rating, Staubach was also known for his late-game heroics. He led Dallas to 23 game-winning drives in the fourth quarter, with 17 of those coming in the final two minutes of the game or overtime. He truly was Captain America. 1970s Honorable Mention Terry Bradshaw Having an all-time defense in the steel curtain on the other side of the ball definitely played a role in the Steelers winning as much as they did in the 1970s. But that isn't to say that Bradshaw leading his squad to four rings in a decade isn't quite the feat. Throw in his two Super Bowl MVPs and one league MVP in 1978, and that's why he gets a mention here. 1980s Joe Montana Joe Cool was exactly that in the 80s, as he brought home four Super Bowls and three Super Bowl MVPs. No moment was too big for Montana, who always seemed to rise to the occasion. In Super Bowls, Montana went 4-0, passing for over 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns, and zero interceptions. He also had more than just team success that decade, as he was named to six Pro Bowls, won a league MVP, led the NFL in passing touchdowns and passer rating two seasons respectively, and was the league's completion percentage leader for five different seasons. 1980s Honorable Mentions John Elway For Elway, his dominance didn't get started until around halfway through the decade, so it was just too deep of a hole to dig out of to catch Montana. 
He did his best to do so, though, managing to lead the Broncos to three Super Bowl appearances, making three Pro Bowls, and winning a league MVP. Dan Marino The only real knock on Marino's resume is that he never won a Super Bowl and only made one appearance in the big game. This wasn't for lack of individual excellence, though. Marino won a league MVP in 84, was a first-team All-Pro for three seasons in a row from 84 to 86, made five straight Pro Bowls from 83 to 87, and led the NFL in passing yards and touchdowns respectively for three years in a row from 84 to 86. 1990s Steve Young From one 49er legend to another, Young was Montana's backup in San Fran from 87 to 90, and he picked up exactly where his predecessor left off. Young led the Niners to a Super Bowl victory where he was named the game's MVP, won two league MVPs, was a seven-time Pro Bowler, led the league in passing touchdowns four seasons, passer rating six times, and completion percentage five times. He threw for over 3,000 yards in five seasons that decade, including two for more than 4,000. Upon his retirement, he finished with the highest passer rating in league history. 1990s Honorable Mentions John Elway Elway finally got over the hump this decade and won two Super Bowls. He added six more Pro Bowls and led the league in passing yards in 93. Troy Aikman Leading your team to three Super Bowl wins in a four-season stretch will definitely get a mention, and that's exactly what Aikman did in the 90s. He also made six straight Pro Bowls from 91 to 96. His numbers were not all that flashy, but he was a winner. Brett Favre You have to be pretty dominant to win three straight league MVPs in any sport, which Favre did from 95 to 97. He also won a Super Bowl and made five Pro Bowls as he led the league in passing touchdowns five times and passing yards twice. 2000s Peyton Manning With a resume as large as his forehead, Manning was a machine in the 2000s. He made the Pro Bowl in every season that decade except for one. Manning also won a Super Bowl, was named league MVP four times, first-team All-Pro five times, led the league in passing yards twice, passing touchdowns four times, and passer rating three times. He became the face of Colts football as he lifted them from the league's cellar to a consistent contender, making 11 straight playoff runs and winning eight division titles from 1998 to 2010. At the time of his retirement, Manning was the NFL's all-time leader in passing yards and passing touchdowns. His five career MVPs are also the most ever by one player. 2000's Honorable Mention Tom Brady Brady got off to a red-hot start in the league as he led the Pats to a Super Bowl win in his first full season as a starter, becoming the youngest quarterback to ever win a ring at the age of 24. As we all know, Tom and the Pats were not done there. They finished the decade with three rings as Brady made five Pro Bowls and won a league MVP. 2010's Tom Brady Making his second appearance here, Brady added three more Super Bowl rings and two more league MVPs this decade. He became the oldest NFL MVP ever at age 40 in 2017. The craziest part is he would probably be included for a third decade in the 2020s list after somehow showing zero signs of aging or slowing down. When Brady does call it quits, he will be the all-time leader in every major passing stat category and is already the greatest winner the game has ever seen. His seven Super Bowl wins are more than any team has ever won. Brady's accolades could fill this entire video, but let's just say he's the GOAT and ended there. 2010's Honorable Mentions Aaron Rodgers One could argue that Rodgers would have more accomplishments if the Packers focused more on surrounding him with offensive weapons or even just competent coaching. But even with all of that, he managed to win a Super Bowl, two league MVPs, and make seven Pro Bowls. Drew Brees Brees regularly found himself atop league leaderboards for a variety of categories throughout the decade. He led the NFL in passing yards five out of six years from 2011 to 2016, completion percentage four seasons, passer rating once, and passing touchdowns twice. He also made the Pro Bowl every year except for one. What do you guys think? Did we leave anyone off this list or get it right? And who's leading the way for the 2020s so far? Let us know in the comments below.